بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from one of the most if not the most important matter in the religion is اعتقاد it's creed knowing the Islamic creed <coughs> the creed of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah the creed of the Salaf al-Salih Ridwan Allah and the creed of Ahl Sunnah this is the creed of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala because they were the ru'us of the Salaf the Sahaba are the ru'us of the Salaf meaning they are the heads of the Salaf al-Salih And the reason I want to speak about itikad and the beauty of itikad because in fact similar to this old growth forest these trees some of these trees I would imagine must be hundreds of years old and they are built upon, of course, a foundation on a root system. And that root system makes us, we can make a similitude with the menhaj of the Salaf, that in order to ground, to base, to fortify the Muslim, they need to have the aqid of Ahlul Sunnati with Jama'ah. That's a, a minimum because if their aqidah, their creed, is distorted, then that means they go away from the master of the religion, the origin of the religion, which is based upon the kitab and the sunnah, the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last prophet and messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. And so that's why the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah is so important because it is that foundation, it is that root of what we always go back to in knowing and understanding the religion and this foundation this creed is exactly that it's the foundation and the creed of Ahlul Sunnah it is the madhab and the minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih the creed of Ahlul Sunnah habit of Allah The creed of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, when the Prophet ﷺ said that the Ummah would divide into sects and that all of them are in the fire except one, this is a reference to the fact that the Ummah would divide and split into various ways of understanding various ways of or methodologies for understanding the book and the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. some going to such an extent where they disregard the sunnah they don't believe it's authentic at all or it's not a place of reference for, for creed those are some of the more, most extreme and some of them are so extreme they've left the fold of Islam so they are gradations then there's another group to another extent that are very extreme and they do believe in the book and they do believe in the sunnah but they depart because they leave the madhab of the salaf al-salih they leave that masdar that we were talking about 
or that third component, which is the understanding. How do we understand the book in the sunnah? Where do we reference? Who do we reference? So they tend to disregard and they have gradations in their distortions. And it is said in the books of Thiruk, you know, the books that, that refer to uh, uh, the, the sectarianism that you'll find when they talked about the Khawarij, you know, that they were of this type, meaning that they made ta'zim of the book of Allah. And the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that they were, you know, they were very, uh, you know, stern, and they, they would be very strong in their worship of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. But as the scholars mention, their, they had a, their distortions led them to disregard the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu to such an extent, and this is where the extremism comes, that actually for them, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een were disbelievers. You know, can you imagine going to such an extreme, thinking that you have attained the correct understanding to where you make takfir of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. This is the... Uh, part of the original madhab of the Khawarij. And as we see the later, uh, like a Rafa the Shia, those who make takfir of the Sahaba. So it's as if they're claiming that they know better. Obviously, it's very clear that they claim they know better and that they are better and more superior to the Sahaba. Rather, the Sahaba are not even Muslims and they're hypocrites in their eyes and major fusaq. This is their aqidah. Wa'iyadhan billah wa'iyyakum min kufr wa'ilhad wa'zandaqah. So, getting to the third mokif or position with regards to creed and i'tiqad, we say it's the middle path. It's the way of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah between those two polar extremes. The Ahl Sunnah is Wasat. They're in the middle. And their Masdar is the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That this is where, this is their reference point. This is the origin for their faith. This is where they give precedence and how they understand their deen. They go back to the book, the Sunnah, and the Method of the Salaf. And one of the many proofs for taking this uh, understanding and adhering to it is because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that the best of his nation were those first three generations. He said, The best people uh, are those of my generation. Then who, those who follow them, then those who follow them. One of the references to the Salaf that the scholars use is they call them the Qurun al-Mufadbala, the preferred generations, also known as the Salaf al-Saleh, the pious predecessors. Why? Because they preceded us in time, they preceded us in Fadl, they preceded us in Fiqh fi Deen, they preceded us in every kind of khair. That's the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. That's the aqidah of Ahl sunnah That's the madhab of the Salaf al-Salih. That's the way of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. And that's what we need to be concerned with. We need to make sure that we make ta'zim and gain proper understanding of the book in the Sunnah. According to the Madhab of the Salaf. And this is what we want to propagate. This is what we want to propagate. First and foremost, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, save yourself and your family from the fire. So we want to begin with our families, teaching them the correct aqeedah, the aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah, and the madhab, the manhaj of the Salaf al-Saleh, which doesn't differ, but this is for emphasis, and then going out and sharing that with the community, and of course, a neglected part of da'wah for many of us, unfortunately, is where the asl is, and that is going out to the non-Muslims. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good, and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.